What is up, YouTube? <laughs> so this is another quick fix video. It's about how to fix the arcade. Uh, and when I say not fix, I more mean get the arcade to open with the correct emulator because that's usually the problem because there's quite a few different emulators for arcade games. And if you've just scraped or you've just taken 2,000 whatever arcade games and then you you know you you, you kind of pick a random one that you want to play but it just doesn't open first time and then you've got to mess about with how to open it and you know check the emulators this is a guide that will basically do all that for you um, and it just takes a couple of steps okay now the first thing you want to do is go into any arcade game and you need to set the default emulator that the arcade opens with Okay, so I'm just going to open the top one, and then you press A at this screen here, and it should come up with this. Now, the default vault emulator you want the arcade to open with is LR MAME 2010, okay? That's really important, um, because with the, the fix that I'm going to show you is it'll, uh, that will set every single other arcade game to open up with the correct one. Like, for example, this one is, is already preset to open with Final Burn Alpha emulator. So you don't need to worry about that. So all you need to do is set the default emulator to open as LR MAME and then just exit. And before you go to WinSCP, I forgot to tell you, you need to download a config file. Now I'm going to put the link for this in the description. But you'll need to download this emulators.cfg file because this contains all the information to tell the ROMs what emulator to open up with, okay? So I've got that here. You can download that to anywhere on your PC, but I've just put it to here for now. Now, as you can see in here, it's got the default arcade name. And then every single ROM has the most recommended or most compatible emulator set. So anything that's not named 2010, this will have a uh, this will have an entry for. OK. Now, when you've connected to your Raspberry Pi or, or Droid, you need to go back all the way to the root folder, go to etc. Sorry, not etc. You need to go to OPT. I've actually put it here because I, I knew I would forget. So, uh, Retro Pi or Retro Arena in this case because it's an O Droid. Configs. All. Guys, just remember, if you do overwrite files like this, it's always super important to make a backup. And to do that, you just right-click the file that you're about to overwrite, rename, and then stick .bak on the end. Uh... Oh, my, oh, never mind, my went SCP disconnected. So, yeah, rename. Like that and then go ahead and upload it. So right click, upload, upload in background, and it should put that on. So you'll see uh, the two files uh, next to each other here, okay? And then you're good to go. Now this will need a reboot to take into effect. So just to show you what it's done, <clears throat> if I quickly go to the arcade now and just open up any random game, let's say this one. I press the A button. As you can see, this has been set to open with Final Burn Alpha, but the default emulator is still L at MAME. That's, that's what the file has actually done. So at the start of the video, I actually, I actually already had that file onto here. But all the games should now launch and work perfectly fine. Well, that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you found that useful. Check to make sure that the current emulator config file has been backed up just in case it breaks some other things because if you've made any custom changes yourself it's probably gonna still be looking to that file for those changes so you can actually copy the stuff that's in your current emulator config and then put it in your new one um but other than that i haven't really had any problems with this uh, it just seems to work so i hope you find that useful but yeah shout out to arcade punks and will for creating this config file he put a lot of work into his arcade pack, so you'll see for yourself, There's he's just put so much work into it, and it's unbelievable how easy it makes it for everybody else. So just please appreciate that, guys, and I will see you in the next video.
Thanks.